What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Don Good. Welcome back to another edition of the DGR. For those that don't know and you're tuning in for the first time, I like to say welcome. And the DGR stands for the Don Good Report. Shout out to all my subscribers and all the folks out there that's viewing my videos. I appreciate all the positive feedback and the support y'all leaving your boy. Continue to do so because you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I do this for y'all as well as I do it for myself. All right. One, two, three. We're about to jump into this review. Here we go. Yeah, I had to take some of that light off of it so you can actually see the natural color of this sneaker. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start off first with the Nike SB box. That's right. This is the Air Jordan 1 Nike SB Collabo. They gave it to us in that new box. I am not mad at all. I'm actually excited to have it come in this box right here. Mm, mm, mm. All right, here we go. Let's jump into the shoe. Look at that. I know a lot of people that's, that's going to be getting this and um, some people who's going to pass on it. Um, I don't think you want to pass on this. This is definitely going to be a very, very historical sneaker to have in your collection. Trust me. And definitely something to rock. This will be a head turner. Alright, we're going to start off. You have that black upper. With that tonal green color. Which almost kind of looks iridescent because it changes, as you can see. Like, I guess, from a black shade to a darker green shade to a lighter green shade. Incredible, y'all. Seriously. You have your normal hose in the toe box for breathability. You have your black flat shoelaces. You have your nice black tongue base with that reflective print on it. You have the same print on the upper and the ankle area as well. You have your Air Jordan logo right there. And not to mention, whew, you have that Air Jordan 1 SB right there. And if you guys don't know, that is Special Script by Craig Steck. And I was licensed to Nike to use for this particular shoe. And he also helped with the design of this monster. Mm, mm, mm. This is definitely a masterpiece in my opinion. Look at that. The patent leather on the back area. Wow. You got that nice clean white midsole. On your outsole, you have what appears to look like carbon fiber, but the print that's on the upper. And because the sole is translucent, that is remarkable. I'm serious. They did an awesome, awesome job with this this is definitely worth the wait you have that premium leather upper again some folks are probably going to go oh, i don't know but to me i'm an air jordan one fan i know how hard it's going to be to get this sneaker and what the price is going to be later down the line <sighs> mm -mm -mm. give me a second i'm gonna show y'all some more stuff that's on the sneaker that i discovered and as promised I'm back to show you the additional things that they added to the shoe. Look at that. Right on the inside of the tongue, you have Imagine on a tab. Look at the insole. You have that Air Jordan 1 logo again, which is in CRS3, which is the typeface script again. That was created by Craig Steck. And hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. And then if you look at the upper inner portion of the sneaker. You have that same CRS3 typeface script as well. Incredible. I mean how could you not love this sneaker right here. I'm serious. They put some work into this. 
and they gave us flat laces and oh I forgot to mention they also gave us SB laces as well so if you want to take the Jordan laces out you could put your SB laces in it to give you that SB feel uh, to the fullest dope sneaker let me know if you copped or if this was a pass for you this was definitely a must for me and I had to add it to the collection and again you're seeing that different color right now because I shed the light on it. And that's why you're seeing that. All right, this is your boy Don Good signing out with another DGR. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen.